Here are my note cards. The first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and last one. When you hear of an addiction, the first thing that comes to mind is drugs. But one of the most common addictions is actually sugar. I personally struggle with a sugar addiction. And from my experience, I've realized that when I run more and exercise more, I tend to eat less sugar and I feel much better. That's because sugar changes everything about you. Sugar is addicting because one, sugar affects your body. Two, sugar affects your brain. And three, sugar affects your behavior. When I eat more sugar than necessary, the first thing I notice is that this affects my body, which is my first main point. In 2013, Gerhardt, Roberts, and Ash published an article in the Journal of Law, Medicines, and Ethics. All three of them are experts on addiction behavior. In this article, they talk about how the change of sugar throughout history has affected people. Manufacturers now use processed sugar in their products, which, because it's cheaper. Because of that, consumers now feel like they have to buy this product because they're addicted to it. When they consume more of this type of sugar, they gain more fat, which causes them to become obese and can lead to type 2 diabetes. In this same article, they talk about a rat experiment, where rats are set in front of an abundance of sugar. The rats continued to eat sugar even though they were full. In 2011, Avena and Gold published an article in Addiction. In this article, they cited Gerhardt, who is an assistant professor in psychology who studies addiction and eating behaviors. In this article, they compare how sugar addictions are to other addictions like tobacco, alcohol, and drugs. They're the same. The changes of a sugar addict and other addictions are the same. Recalling my first main point, sugar affects your body, causing you to gain weight and it sparks an addiction. Not only does sugar affect your body, but it also affects your brain, which is my second main point. In 2011, Avena and Gold published an, published an article in Addiction. In this article, they cited Gerhardt, who is a professor, an assistant professor in psychology, who studied addiction and behavioral addiction and eating behaviors. Sugar affects the brain by affecting the neuropeptide and neurotransmitter systems of the brain. It negatively affects both of these systems. The neuropeptide system increases food intake and fat storage and reduces your pain perception because of your intake of sugar. The neurotransmitter system now doesn't transfer messages as well from nerve to nerve in the brain because of your sugar, eating sugar. In 2013, DeFiggio published an article in the Natural Life magazine. DeFiggio is well known in the nutrition and fitness industry. In this article, he explained how your craving for sugar will never be satisfied because it affects your pleasure center like alcohol. If you look at a pleasure center of someone who's addicted to cocaine and to someone who's addicted to sugar, they're the same. Recalling my second main point, Sugar affects your brain by affecting the neuropeptide and neurotransmitter systems along with the pleasure center. Both my first and second main point, being sugar affecting your body and sugar affecting your brain, may seem logical, but my third main point may seem shocking. My third main point is how sugar affects your behavior. In 2013, DeFiggio published an article in Natural Life magazine. DeFiggio is well known in the nutrition and fitness industry. In this article, he explains how sugar affects your behavior. Sugar causes you to make worse decisions that you usually don't make. For example, if you're sad, you are more likely to eat sugar or eat worse foods than if you weren't. Or if you have a lack of emotions like boredom, you tend to eat. In 2013, Gerhardt, Roberts, and Ash published an article in the Journal of Law, Medicine, and Ethics. In this article, first, all three of them are experts on behavioral addictions. In this article, it talks about how sugar affects your actions. 
It explains a rat experiment of how rats that are addicted to sugar and other things like alcohol, tobacco, and drugs are set in front of their substances they are addicted to. The rats chose sugar over the other things they are addicted to. And they even chose sugar over the other substances when they knew they would get shocked from choosing sugar, but they still chose sugar. Recalling my third main point, sugar affects your behavior through your emotions and your actions. Addictions may be hard to detect, but they're present. Sugar addiction is a problem, and I struggle with that problem. Sugar, a sugar addiction is worse than a drug addiction because it's everywhere. It's in it, and sugar is in everything. But just because sugar is in everything doesn't mean you can beat, you can't beat your sugar addiction. All you have to do is eat less sugar. You can do this by doing three things. One, become aware. You have to know how much sugar you're actually eating so you can reduce it. Two, exercise. When you exercise more, you feel better, and you, you tend to crave better foods. And three, avoid boredom. This one is the, is the hardest one for me because it's so easy to just go to the fridge and get food when you're bored. Sugar is a problem. Sugar is addicting because one, it affects your body. Two, it affects your brain. And three, it affects your behavior.